Greetings everybody. Welcome to my video. I haven't posted for a while, but I wanted to show everybody what I was working on. And this is my project here. Something that I drew up and somebody was kind enough to fabricate and we assembled it and there's the chassis. That's my experimental chassis. I plan to do a lot of experiments with this. Um, I haven't wound any coils for it yet or anything like that, but I was going to take the coil off of the mini there and stick it up there and see what we can do. So I'm going to set up some batteries here. really pushing that coil. A lot of weight there. It's spinning up nice. faster. Sadly I don't have a digital RPM gauge but it is going faster. It's speeding up. And the rotor has four inch long by one inch wide by half inch neodymium magnets and there are twelve magnets on the rotor orientated in a north-south position around the, the rotor. I think it's reached about as fast as it's going to go. It's moving along at a pretty good clip though. Nice and smooth. I'm going to set this up in a sort of a three phase configuration. There will be nine coils around the rotor when I'm done. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when I, when the fire, when the each phase fires, it fires evenly around the circumference taking the load off of the bearing because right now it's pushing down against the bearing of course it depends on where I center the the coil but that's why I figured I would do that to see if it would run smoother with that type of a configuration. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to take this off of here. And we'll let that spin for a minute and see how, how long it spins for.
Now all of those bearings, they sound a little dry in there, I should put some more oil on them. But it seems to have built up a lot of centrifugal force. It's uh, just the spinning away there. I guess I should have got a timer on, huh? It's going to take a long time to stop. But it's made of uh, aluminum. Oh, wow. Something is not sounding good. put some more oil on those bearings <laughs> but I even pressed my hand against it there and it's still just spinning like crazy but the, the stand there the the bearing housing and the rotor side plates and the magnet keepers it's all aluminum the shaft is stainless steel and the magnet clips that hold the magnets in are stainless steel and then all the hardware is stainless steel and this is a strand board it's like a fiberglass strand board here I think this is SBO3 uh, they call this and I'm not sure what this is, some kind of fiberglass stranded board here also. It's real very heavy, nice base for it. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down here. So as you can see, that it, the rotor is hollow. So all the weight is on the outside of the rotor. And that's what gives it such tremendous centrifugal force it just spins like you wouldn't believe it just it has so much force and there's uh, uh, sit screw down in there with a keyway with a, a pin in there and also right there so that the the rotor is, is pinned to the shaft and then I put keyways on the end of the shaft there so that I can connect other things uh, like different trigger mechanisms stuff like that but I'm going to use a Bedini bipolar circuit with two trigger windings for this initial setup on this and then I'll try some other stuff some other circuits, maybe some different winding setups and stuff like that. So, lots of experiments to do, lots of fun. Got to get my coil winder set back up, start winding some coils for it, and and uh, I'll keep you posted. Peace.